Welcome to Lubera, the Swiss fruit and berry plant producers and breeders. My name behind the camera is Markus Kobeldam, founder and breeder of Lubera. Today I'm crossing apples and especially I'm sampling pollen. And in this video I'm showing you how to sample pollen for uh, apple crosses. First you have to choose the parent variety, here the male variety. And we have chosen this one beside others. And this is Malini Subito. Malini Subito is one of our younger uh, columnar varieties and it's especially interesting because it's a, a breakthrough in breeding, a breakthrough in respect of the annual cropping. Most, most uh, columnar varieties, apple varieties have a decent biannual cropping, but this one, Malini Subito, has none. So no biannual cropping. Also, last year it was full of blooms and full of apples and this year again the same uh, thing. So it's a very interesting variety for crossing. If we want to breed in, for example, into the red loves, new the, the, the columnar habit, we can use, for example, this variety and in the same time we don't have, we won't have the annual cropping because it's already in the genes of, of uh, Subito, Malini Subito. So how to go on sampling pollen. First, we are choosing uh, blooms in the balloon stadium. Here, for example, this is the balloon stadium. It's beginning balloon stadium because why are we choosing only uh, flowers in the balloon stadium? The reason is, in this stadium, the insects have not been able to come to the flower, so there is no other pollen on the stamen than the pollen of this variety itself. So that's the reason we are using uh, only uh, flowers in the balloon stadium. Then, if we have flowers in the balloon stadium, like this one here, we are taking off the petals. You see it here. Yeah, we are taking off, off the petals that you see the stamen and the pistils. And after this, we are cutting we are cutting off the pistils and we are like this one. So I tried with one hand, one hand on the camera, one hand here. Yeah. And we are sampling all the pollen, all the pistils in these plastic, plastic cups. Afterwards, we are bringing the plastic cups to this holder and we are drying them for about 48 hours in the sun and as soon as they have dried they will give out the pollen a yellow dust in the plastic cups sometimes you see it already now no for the moment there's all almost no pollen in it but afterwards when the, the pollen has been dried the pistils have been dried they will give out the pollen we use for pollinating that's all. So it's not very complicated, but it's much work. I started today 5 o'clock in the morning, it's now 10 o'clock, and three following days I was sampling pollen for this year's crossings. And it's done by the boss, because my other people, my other staff is, uh, is uh, collecting plants and sending plants to our customers. They have no time, so that's up to me to prepare the crossing of this year.